with Mount Pleasant. The Mount Pleasant lineup today having five changes from the one that started in their 1-1 draw against Waterhouse last weekend. Tajay Anderson, Kimar Beckford, Leonard Rankin, Gary Mills in the starting roster today ahead of Ladale Richard, Prince Christie, Daniel Green and Keston Hall all out. And uh, Devontae Hodges on the bench. He's a 16-year-old son of Devon Hodges. Yeah, a lot of the usual suspects missing for Mount Pleasant. And as you heard Wally Downs say, he has some youngsters on the bench mostly. But he has freshened up his lineup for what is an important assignment. As he correctly said, this is the most important game so far in Mount Pleasant's career. Uh, well, stint rather as a Premier League team. Because they can finish third, which is of course the high water mark for them so far on their mission to eventually becoming champions. Yeah, the Tivoli Gardens lineup having just a couple of changes from last week's Nilo draw against Cavalier with a midweek draw against Cavalier. Stephen Barnett and Kevin Barnett on the starting roster today ahead of Devroy Gray who has four goals and Dasha Satchwell who is also out uh, for today's fixture. Jermaine Johnson, the 41-year-old, coming off the bench as usual. Yeah, so uh, Teddy Johnson on the bench. He would have been, of course, a man of a veteran of big games in Jamaica, Premier League winner here with Tivoli. But he makes do here. I like the lineup that Tivoli is sending out. Trayvon Reed in the, 11, in the number 11 shirt has put on some muscle from when we first saw him in this league. A wave of a boy back then. He's a man that is built, almost getting his cruiserweight body going. Lovely and uh, Mount Pleasant kicked off at midday local time. And. Uh, Tivoli Gardens with Reed making his intentions clear from early, driving one at goal there. And Paul with a diving save to his right. Had to go full length to his right to stop that. That was a fine effort by Trayvon Reed. Then this chance, which fell to Morgan. Garrison's cross was inch perfect. Morgan needed to beat Paul to his right, but stay inside the right hand post, and he couldn't do it. Yeah. way over the top. Beckford, delightful pass forward here and Fletcher just seems to be caught in two minds as to what to do in the end. His effort pretty poor by his standards. And then the short corner routine would result in the goal. Beckford into the box, Rankin heads it back. The clearance by Morgan but it falls to Campbell. No pressure, invited to strike and strike he did. Bend at the end and it ends up in the back of the net. Yeah, second goal of the season for young Devante Campbell from the Mount Pleasant Academy. And the Clark beaten by the swerve and the power of the shot. That's the ball nestled into the back of the net for the 17-year-old. Yeah, fine strike that was. Let's see it again. Yeah. Clark would be embarrassed by by that, but it, it wasn't an easy strike. And then another effort. Tajay Anderson invited to shoot. No pressure. And his left, left footed shot whistles by the left hand post. And then another chance. Campbell trying to make the assist. But the clip towards the top left hand corner are too wide. And then this effort. Clark's long goal kick. Look at Rankin being wrong footed. Slips. Let's do Trayvon Reed. Who has the simple task of tapping beyond Chavin Paul into the empty net? This is root one stuff. One bounce beating two center halves and a striker having perhaps the easiest goal he'll score at this level. Trayvon Reed made that look easy because it was. Yeah, and the assist coming from the goalkeeper, Nicholas Clark, with his very piercing long kick out. Reed has had a good game for Tivoli. Rodico Wellington here aiming for the right hand post, misses it. He had a couple of good opportunities, Wellington coming off the bench in the 42nd minute. And then this effort. Campbell's cross blocked by Pinnacle, cleaned up. Harvey's free kick, balloons well. Deflects off one of the defenders and Campbell finds himself trapped beneath the ball, so really couldn't steer the shot goalwards. Yeah. Look at this turn, leaves Flemings for dead. Penny Cook, though, comes across to cover ground the center half. Flemings runs back. Two obstacles. What does he do? Slips a pass to Kemar Beckford. The first touch isn't good. And the goalkeeper's pressure throws him off further. But this was a lovely turn. Yeah. A lot of quality in this play, George. Everything he did was magic. And uh, 
his ability to be a provider as well illustrated on that play finding Beckford in between defenders Garrison to Flemings Flemings is cross driven deflects finds its way to Lawrence and Lawrence going for power skies it when really that needed a it's ended now his campaign firm left footed strike into the far corner Clark can't get close to it yeah guessed right but there was too much power rising effort as well and the goalkeeper dives once he dives he's only going down and Fletcher's shot was going up as it traveled so yeah he can smile he can laugh he got the job done yeah fine effort by Clark he went there but beaten for pace so Fletcher on target and Jermaine Teddy Johnson a 41 year old who played over 230 matches for Sheffield Wednesday in England back to domestic football in recent years and at 41 years old he is preparing to kick Tipple his first in this penalty shootout should be meat and drink for him a player of his vast experience and ability Paul a solid goalkeeper matches up against the veteran Here comes Johnson now. Yeah, Paul went there. But pace and placement beats him. And Johnson shows how it's done. Yeah, principle is if you place it in either corner, highly unlikely the goalkeeper will get there if you put enough pace on it. There was enough pace. And almost got there, but beaten for pace. Yeah, the pace. Jermaine Teddy Johnson. Just one goal on the season for him. strikes here from the penalty spot no heckling no encouragement I said no spectators correctly I should have said no fans because people are here working so they're watching but no fans Makala Mount Pleasant's captain very very solid penalty to the right of the goalkeeper who doesn't even move that one hitting into this inside half of the netting and a very solid kick from the Mount Pleasant skipper Sula Makala yep made it look easy <laughs> the penalty situation for these players in this kind of atmosphere where there are no fans almost like when the NBA was playing without spectators without fans and you were shooting free throws nobody yeah. behind heckling you <laughs> <laughs> so it's a substitute Steve McQueen who has Tivoli's second kick looks nervous though uh, let's see what he does here Paul went close to Johnson's penalty strike no nerves on the target. delivery yeah, yeah yeah didn't go that far away from the goalkeeper but the goalkeeper made the dive in the wrong direction yes sir yeah McQueen thanks his lucky stars here's a kick again I think it was his maker but I'll take that yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kick hit pretty close to the goalkeeper but he dived to his right not, not too long ago Isaacs crashed a powerful shot on goal. That was brilliantly saved by Clark. And he has an effort now from closer range from the penalty spot. Let's see what he does here. Kevon Isaacs. Clark looks prepared. Wow, again, not very far from the goalkeeper, but Clark moves in the wrong direction. May have been down the middle again. Yeah. And uh, after the fact, we always say, well, if the goalkeeper didn't move, he would have saved it. And he would have if he hadn't moved, but yeah. he gambled and lost. Yeah, your favorite player, George, of the past, Panenka, that was his philosophy. The goalkeepers tend to move. Yeah. So you just, you know, chip the ball, center of the goal, and it will score. Yeah, Antonin Panenka, 1974, final of the European, well, the European Championships for then Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Reed has Tivoli's third kick. So all kicks have been on target so far. Fletcher, McCullough, and Isaacs for Mount Pleasant. Johnson, McQueen so far for Tivoli. And Reed with kick number three. 
<laughs> yeah, and he scores. <laughs> Took an awful long time to uh, use a lot of psychology on the goalkeeper there. Just kept him waiting, kept him waiting, waiting. And uh, that was an unstoppable strike from Reed. Yeah, there was a time when Paul Pogba had this approach to taking penalties for Manchester United. He only stopped after one of them was saved. <laughs> yeah, so 100%. All green dots so far from the penalties. And here is the 17 year old Devonte Campbell with Mount Pleasant's fourth strike. Can the goalkeeper be a hero? Is what the Tivoli fans will be saying. The Mount Pleasant fans will be saying, Go on, youngster, show your quality. Here's Campbell's strike. Oh, onto the crossbar and out. So the first miss of the penalty shootout. Devonte Campbell powerfully onto the crossbar and now he'll have to hope that some Tivoli player misses as well. Yeah, two of the Mount player, Mount Pleasant boys run to help him to get back to the huddle. They recognize that, well, he, there's no doubt he's crestfallen and Fletcher and Ricketts go to console him. Opened his body. Yeah. Inside of the foot. Too much height. Rodico Welton, Wellington came on as a substitute in this match. Hasn't had an imposing game, Wellington. Let's see if he can keep Tivoli in the advantage now. Yes, he does. Not a lot of power, just rolling it to the right of the goalkeeper. And Paul went there, but didn't get there. Yeah, disappointed with himself. The goalkeeper felt he should have gotten there, but outfoxed by Wellington. The placement again was the key. And we're seeing the best angle here. And the into the corner. Yeah. Rankin has Mount Pleasant's fifth and final kick. So if he misses here, Tivoli are champion or third place winners. <laughs> Champions of the third place playoff, yes. <laughs> Rankin has to score to keep Mount Pleasant's hopes alive in this third place playoff. And he misses. Well saved by Nicholas Clark. And a Tivoli win the penalty shootout and a capture third place in the Jamaica Premier League. Yeah, he guessed right. And the penalty from Rankin, not a, not a very good one. 4-3, the penalty shootout victory here for Tivoli Gardens over Mount Pleasant. Didn't like his body language, but guess what? He was tired after a lot of work over the course of 120 minutes. Can't be too critical. Tivoli uh, justifiably getting third. Yeah, so Alex Marshall's goal in 2018-2019 denied Mount Pleasant the third place in that third place playoff when they faced Cavalier. They have to settle for fourth again, this Mount Pleasant team, as they lose a penalty shootout to Tivoli Gardens with uh, Wellington, Reed, McQueen, and um, Teddy Johnson on target for Tivoli Gardens. And that's how the third place playoff ends. Tivoli Gardens 4-3 over Mount Pleasant on penalties. It's Tivoli third and Mount Pleasant in fourth spot in the Jamaica Premier League. Powered by Digicel. The final coming up in minutes between Cavalier and Waterhouse with John Oliver and Dwight Jeremiah coming up.